This is World Champ Entertainment. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's Dr. Locke. I didn't start over. I, I did start over. Okay, so we start over again right now. Okay, we're going to start over again right now. All right, are we ready? Everybody ready to set? All right. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's Dr. Locke. Anthony. What? <laughs> she is ready. Hey, okay, we're with the crew here on Fox WFXB 43. Wake up with us every Saturday morning and check out our podcast Wednesdays on worldchampent.com, SoundCloud. Dot com backslash world champ ENT. You are very um <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. How about red skins? Um so it's basketball season and Duke played Kentucky this week. Okay, we'll talk about the Redskins. Um the Washington Redskins did what I did not want them to do. Every week I don't want them to do it. But they came out and they beat the devil out of the New Orleans Saints. Made me mad. I sat there and watched that game, and I just cried. You know what? It was just so bad about it that I watched the Redskins game so bad. I watched so much of it. I just knew my Cowboys was beating the Buccaneers. I just knew. It. I was like, no, nah, I ain't gonna watch the Cowboys game. I'm over here watching the Redskins beat on them. Like, man, don't beat, don't beat the Saints. Don't beat the Saints. And what did they do? Slaughtered the Saints. So uh, now you have, now she's over here cheesing from ear to ear. Uh, but anyway, how are you doing? I'm great. I bet you you are great. Redskins won. The Redskins did the won. 47 um, points. What other team this past week had 47 points? The Duke Blue Devils. Basketball. Um, I don't know. The Cowboys lost. That's all I know. The Cowboys lost against Tampa Bay 10-6. to It's just ridiculous. And then they cut Whedon on, 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 on Tuesday. And they cut the weed man. Uh, Brandon Whedon, the the only quarterback who's been productive this year, Brandon Whedon. But they said he, he um, had to make room for Tony Romo. He played in three games, and he had one touchdown and two interceptions. He had more than one touchdown. He had three touchdowns. The Atlanta game, they put up 30 points. But here's the thing about it. This is why I think it's messed up, because they told him not to be – not to do too much. We just need you to uh, to hold down the fort until Tony Romo comes back. And so they didn't really take too many chances or anything like that. He just went out there and played conservative football, got the first down, got the points, and he, and he did his thing. Now they're going to release him, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. But I think he listened to um to um Skip to Skip Bayless. What's Skip Bayless say? Skip Bayless was like they didn't need we man. He he was the worst. But then you got Castle, who's not better. Is than no we. better at all. And it's just it's. But just I weird. blame Des Romo for that last play on that um. Des Bryant. Yeah, Des Romo. just dropped the ball. Des Bryant when he didn't jump for the ball in the end zone. That it was the very last play that could have won the Cowboys the game. And Castle threw the ball. And the Tampa Bay um, He just receiver, dropped balls all over the field. The receiver had blocked it down, but Dez didn't even turn around and jump further. But Dez had a jump. Like, he always jumped the ball. Mm. He would have. But I think his foot, what did he hurt? His ankle? He hurt his emotions. <laughs> and we paid him all that money that he was crying for all summer long. Had a little holdout. And he ended up paying them. But guess what? He ain't producing. Jerry Jones ain't giving you the rest of that money. Not then no more. Um, next season coming around, I bet you he'll be in camp. I guarantee you he'll be in camp. He ain't got nothing to hold out for. He oh, got a lot to prove. And this is what really makes me mad. The season's over with. Let's do the season be over Well, no, because LT said that. This, this, this is what makes me mad. They say the, season, the season's over with, but no, if the Cowboys can win out or da 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 da, there's still hope for the playoffs. Don't even get your hopes up. Just go out and play great football. Whatever happens, happens. But don't try to sell me that dream that I might go to the playoffs again. They say he can come back and win the next um, seven games. Yes, which is true. And thank God this is one of those NFC East years where nobody's just jumping out there being dominant. But um, the but the Panthers. 
Yeah, no, the Panthers again. In the NFC East. Oh, oh our division. division. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just hoping. I'm, it's one of those points where we hope that nobody gets hot. I hope the Redskins lose. No, no. Darn it. I hope the yeah. I hope the Redskins lose to the Panthers because if they beat the Panthers this weekend or next weekend, they're this going weekend. to the playoffs. If they beat the Panthers Sunday. If they beat the Panthers tomorrow, they're going to the playoffs. That's just the way the NFC rolls. Uh, the Eagles and the Giants, who cares about them? And uh, I don't know. Hopefully we'll beat the, the Miami Dolphins in Miami and then turn around and beat the Carolina Pretty Cats <laughs> in, uh, in Charlotte. But um, how do you feel about Cam's celebration? I think it's awesome. Everybody else do their little dances. Yeah. They do the, who had the little... Double check, discount, double check thing. Uh, Aaron Rodgers. Okay, so I mean, he always did that in the end in the, in the, in the zone. It wasn't yeah. a problem because what? Davin is. It's hot. It's <laughs> 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 oh, okay. But here's the thing if you don't want Cam to celebrate in the end zone, stop him. Stop him from scoring. It's as simple as that. It's that simple. And the, the guy who got mad at, at, at Cam Newton for um, dancing, he was the one doing the hotline bling. Yeah. Whatever. You don't want Cam to score, and Maybe you don't want to celebrate. But but they can't celebrate. Yeah. What else? They was playing in um. Oh, they was playing away game. They were playing in Tennessee. Okay, that's why. They want to dab on their field. Yeah, dab on their field. If you don't want him to dab in your house, protect your house. If you. But that's but I guess because he dabbing in on somebody else's territory. That's like the same thing where he snaps down the. The um North Carolina Cheesehead um banner for the, the people from North Carolina but Green Bay Packer. I think that's different. This is my opinion. No, because you're touching someone's personal item. It doesn't matter how you feel disrespect. Oh, that's that the team wrong. they're representing. So when you snatch something down, you're disrespecting that person. Yeah. So I guess they feel because in Tennessee he was dabbing and, and scoring on him, he dabbed more than one time and he was yeah. just kept dabbing. So they probably felt some type of way. Yes, I, I I guess. I mean, you can make that argument. It was um, an argument. I'm just saying. I, it was an Everything's <laughs> an argument with you. But um, I guess Cam Newton stop him from scoring. But uh, it's whatever. I like that show too. Which one? The uh, what's what's happening live yeah. or whatever yeah, it is. He has a, a studio audience of about like ten people. And they just produce a show in a studio no bigger than this one right here. And it's just, he just keeps authentic. Mm -hmm. But it's going with a territory. But um, I, Vivica Fox, we had that conversation at our Unplugged Poetry event at, at the Dark Jazz Cafe. And um, women feel some kind of way about her bedroom activities. But I don't. <laughs> I don't feel that type of I mean, way. I don't know. Kind of, I don't know. He would just do it for whatever it is. Anyway, speaking of anything else, any more sports or anything? Um, yes, the Carolina, uh, North Carolina Tar Heels are number one. For now. Duke is number five. For now. Kentucky is number two. And Duke and Kentucky played on, on, Tuesday, on Tuesday night. Day. Yeah. Yeah. It was a great game. Yeah, it was. Um, great game. I like the way Coach K executed, you know. But um, and that game will predict how the season will play out throughout the year. That's a good way to put it. I got Kentucky. <laughs> I was, I'm just kidding. I got North Carolina. Yeah. But anyway, uh, speaking of our unplugged event, we're gonna go ahead and get to some poetry this week. We have the heirs to the throne poetry group, and they're from Myrtle Beach, and they came out and they shut the. The, the bar, the lounge down, did a great performance. Here's the Heirs to the Throne Poetry Group. We are a people divided. The way we defile each other keeps our enemies decided. This world don't give a damn about us and they don't even hide it. We got used to being slaves. There's no need to deny it. We live in a world where everybody wants to be somebody other than themselves. Because if you ain't a celebrity or the status quo self-made, then basically you're like forgotten books that's old and dusted that sits upon the shelves. Yeah, you see, we'd rather be fake in front of our family and friends and real behind closed doors. And instead of us going to God for everything we need, we reach out to the world for more. Kind of sad, huh? You see, as long as we keep on the mask, the truth will never set us free. And then we wonder why we are statistic caught up in the web of society. 
can't be mad at always attracting fake people, because fake recognize fake, and real recognize real. And until we unveil ourselves into the one and only true God, that's the only way we're ever going to be healed. Lord, my prayer is that in this generation, there will be more caps and gowns instead of more people being capped and gunned down, life being cut way too short. And it's that dreams get aborted and society has so many visions distorted, painting a perfect picture as if storms don't exist. And if we don't come together, we are a people divided. The way we defile each other keeps our enemies excited. This world don't give a damn about us and they don't even hide. We got used to being slaves and no need to deny it. Slaves we were, slaves we are. Backwards we headed after we've come so far. It breaks my heart to see our kids in the hall being clowns, sleeping in class, throwing away knowledge like it doesn't matter at all. I see our boys with their pants sagging, going from one girl to the next, just like too many of their dads. And our girls out here barely dressed, smiling when they say, she bad, she, she, she bad. Not realizing that bad now is worse later. Who's going to want to marry you when you do anything for a small favor? Girl, he got my hair done. He bought me some shoes. Hell, all it takes is a compliment for some of you. And then parents, you laughing when your baby's bumping and grinding, telling them to ignore other adults, to pay them no never, no never mind. And those same babies turn into teens telling their teachers, you can't tell me what to do. You ain't my mama. And then those teens turn into grown men and women on Facebook inciting drama. Nobody wants to be a Claire Huxtable. Everybody wants to be a Mary Jane. And public got it all together. Behind closed doors, you're going insane. And men, instead of trying to find careers and take care of your kids, you instead of trying to figure out which one's the next one you're going to slip in. My baby mama, it's all her fault. She a hope, she a thought. Ain't got no money for groceries, no daycare, no, no child support, but you stay rocking the latest shorts. Pants either three sizes too big or three sizes too small. That might work for Lil Wayne, but it ain't cute on y'all. <laughs> It is the fault of our own community. What are our kids supposed to do when they see that we're not in unity? We are a people divided. The way we defile each other keeps our enemies excited. This world don't give a damn about us and they don't even hide it. We got used to being slaves. There's no need to deny it. Tell me, why does America kill its babies? They smile at the world with a foam face full of rabies. Hands out, she gives the illusion of giving handouts all the while we got People competing for the lowest wages while others get pissed off at the audacity of a waitress to ask for better. One percenters are swearing to understand the problem all the while misunderstanding that this type of economy did not take us all by storm. You see, I'm not lazy. Your recession is my norm. I don't know. Maybe I got it just a little askew. I just think things could get better if one could help two and those two could help three. You could call it a pyramid scheme or exactly what it is. The death of the American dream. A plot meant to keep you on your knees. You see, lockjaw sets in as you try to please the master that never intended for you to be free. Kami? No fool. I'm a mommy. Telling Peter next week while Paul gets paid today, you see, this is life in America at just above minimum wage. You be your hungry, your poor, your distress, she screams while health care in America is still one of the greatest money making schemes ever. Which means for every one drug you'll need four to counteract muscle spasms that leave you sore, need blood pressure meds that make you cough, and then pills for your lungs because now you sound rough, an adult diaper because you can't control your bladder, and therapy sessions to find out. Look at all this. <laughs> this must be coming from someone on welfare will know. I knock on wood, see, because I've never been there. But I know what it's like to be told I make a dollar too much for assistance with groceries. So I sacrifice so my child doesn't go hungry. Living in a tourist area where a job growth seems something, you see a lot of those got those degrees. They still looking stupid. I did everything right to earn the American dream, but I guess I'm not American enough. Whatever that means. We are a people divided. The way we defile each other keeps our enemies excited. This world don't give a damn and they don't even hide it. We got used to being slaves. There's no need to deny it. It's amazing that you refer to me, the black woman, as a whore in the trick. It's because of my womb that your black ass even exists. <laughs> but you don't know me now because we're the next off of your free trip. Got me sitting on the dock waiting to retrieve what we left on the ship. Oh, and when Uncle Tom died, hip hop became the new whip. Because y'all purchased 
Chief Keith's record even after he said it would increase the murder rate. We live in a world where a grown man will sleep with a 10 year old and not consider that rape. Or chicks will screw you after a conversation, never mind the first date. Where daddies are busy chasing titties and thighs to dive in while your baby mama is wondering where her next high is. Suddenly she realizes it's just on the other side of your baby girl's hymen. His force burns the walls of her, her vagina. Her little long screaming well like siren. Another child suffocating in the circumstances of our people's silence. Yes. Who am I raising? Obama or Osama? Oh. Barack or Bin Laden? Mm -hmm. I saw the village for solace. Their reply was, your, your, your problem. problem. <laughs> See, they were busy turning up screaming, F the world, don't, don't ask, ask me for shit. <laughs> Truth is, the world won't risk getting you pregnant, but he will dangle free checks and rent less projects to entice you with just to keep you on your knees, which is the perfect position for you to kiss his tip. <laughs> no longer are we hung and on this way in the town's gallows. You can find us bent over in rap videos and feeling chosen on reality TV shows, rolling on the floor in Mari with the Who's My Baby Daddy woes, and strutting on the corner with our fake Michael Kors and our store bar Afro. <clears throat> Always poor because we think status is determined by the price tags on our clothes. I'll come to the conclusion that my people are just ass backwards. The body appears free, but, but the, the mind, mind remains shackled. That's right, they got a sound like traffic. Red light stop, green light go. You made 1.0 and now you a pro? <laughs> <laughs> they got them looking at you like, hey, ho. <laughs> See, they already convinced us that we were naughty by nature. And that's why a dark-skinned sister will look at a light-skinned sister and automatically hate her. Now realizing she's that way because Master took someone that looked like me and raped her. She's still a slave even if she is a house nigga. But I don't understand why you don't get that the picture is bigger. Bigger than the preschool, the prison pipeline. Bigger than no child left behind. I said it before. My people are just ass backwards. The body appears free, but the mind remains shackled. We are a people divided. The way we defile each other keeps our enemies excited. This world don't give a damn about us and they don't even hide it. We got used to being slaves. There's no need to deny it. Yeah. Sounds nice. <laughs> and we're back. It's Dr. Locke. And to me. And we're the crew. That was the heirs to the throne, prophetic poets. That's their complete name. Check them out. Hit them up on Facebook, Twitter, and the Instagram. Now, did you like their poetry? I love, I love, I love it. Okay, nice. absolutely. They even tried to do a little rap thing, but that it just didn't work out for them. But it, it is what it is. You learn from learning or moving or doing whatever. Anyway, uh, Dan Johns came by. He blessed the mic with, he blessed us with his presence and a performance. So check this out. And we're going to play a little bit of one of his videos. What video you want to see of his? Of the Divine Sons. Let's do the original Divine Sons song. Which one? That's the original. Yeah, for people? No, not Review for People. It's called Divine Sons original video. Um, Divine Sons yeah. original video yeah. here on the crew. We'll be right back. Come for access to make room for what? Stay tuned. The vibe. Undeniable passion. Indescribable. I thank the Lord daily that I get to see this side of you. True, we had our fair share of confusion, but thoughts of a support are merely illusions. Your movements are far superior. Plus, your tender heart chipped away at my hard exterior. The arguments and fights were just God preparing us for tough decisions and hard scenarios. From here we go to infinity. Both hot-headed, together we found serenity. <laughs> Both self-sufficient, we didn't know how to trust the crush. And genuine passion fueled the lust, the rush that transformed into love in its advanced form. And that's worth taking a chance on. Okay. I wrote that about my wife. Yeah. Um, I'm up here, man. I, I write in 16 bars because I'm an artist. So I'm going to just do a little something that was featured on the crew. Uh, it's called Scarlet Letter. Who read the Scarlet Letter in high school? Everybody? And y'all remember the whole concept that the Scarlet Letter was like a mark of shame? Yeah. And um, really, when you think about it, if somebody comes up to you, well, if you come up to somebody and say that you a fan of hip hop, they kind of be like, ah, oh, that's not really music, you know? They kind of, they treat hip hop like a Scarlet Letter. It's like it's a mark of shame. 
Like we're supposed to be ashamed of our culture, but then they turn around and steal our culture, right? right? <laughs> so we, we being the Divine Sons, our group, you can check us out, uh, divinesons.com, or if you want to check the merchandise, which the crew also <laughs> wore on the shirt, you can go to webeautifulpeople.com. I'm not up here to do, you know, commercials. But anyway, this is my piece of the Scarlet Letter, a 16 bar verse. Uh, pardon me if I slur a couple words, Heineken. Again. <laughs> yeah. The fact I love boom bap makes some question my sanity and assume my subject matter must be dressed in profanity. I guess because I rap, I'm at a less than humanity than a pill popping singer that's obsessed with his van vanity. Honestly, it's odd to me they categorize us, yet target us for profit when they meet with advertisers. <laughs> Afraid of the tradition of royalty that's inside us and how it translates to our loyalty to our riders. All they see is the violent words. And I just lost my train of thought. All they see is the stylish garments and flashy colors and how we use our words as weapons to attack each other. Not how we unify, collaborate, and back each other. They copy everything, even the way we dap each other. <laughs> from little Richard to little Wayne, it's all the same. They steal from us and profit via ill-gotten gains. Sure, we sample from their records, but it's still not the same. By law, we pay them publishing, but all we get is punishment. Oh. I'm Dan John, Joe Florence, South Carolina. Thank y'all very much. A man who plays chess with himself is unchallenged. He works harder from one side, it's unbalanced. We have to know our strengths to study our shortcomings. You ain't fixing nothing till you tear apart something abundant. Fear can be a natural resource, but only if it guides you to actual recourse. Deep thoughts are just words till you apply them. My son wants my only urge is to provide them. See, this side of me is not to be toyed with unless you want to bleed, because whatever he needs is what my boy gets. A high your purpose beyond reciting verses on that note nothing can stop me inertia in search of answers to questions i've yet to ask the way my mind works is something i've yet to grasp the last of a breed that's advertised is dying that's if you trust the words of pathological liars Okay, we're back. And as I was saying, <laughs> oh, that the name of the song was Divine Sons Official Music Video Produced by Mark Magnesium. Wait a minute. You didn't say all that Mark Magnesium. Okay, I didn't say all that the first time. However, <laughs> I knew it. the name of the video and you didn't. Yeah. And during the video, she Googled all that information. So I just Googled the name who produced it. Don't play me. I'm sorry. I knew about the video. You didn't. So what that say? That I'm a bigger that, fan than you are. Well, well, don't tell. Wait a minute. I'm wearing a beautiful people shirt, so um, and I'm wearing the red skin shirt. But you, but guess how he played us though? How I play the beautiful people shirts is black and white. Who has black and white? Black the Raiders. You know what? I just caught that, Dan John. I'm coming for you, my brother. You really played us. You made me fall into this trap. Anyway, I, I might be a Raider Force all over, but the Cowboys ain't doing nothing. Oh, you really got me, Dan. I'm telling you, Dan. I'm coming for you, my brother. Yeah. But shout out to Mark Magne Magnesium for making that beat. Um, looking forward. We're probably going to do some more unplugged poetry jam sessions. Coming in the near future. And then let's 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 do the Christmas tree challenge. Everybody get your Christmas tree down before New Year's. <laughs> How about all the decorations? Everything needs to be done by New Year's Day. And there's a word of advice. I know we talked a lot about Patty LaBelle's pies. Don't bring them to your grandma's house for Thanksgiving because no matter how much Patty LaBelle she like, she ain't trying to hear nobody's pies but her own. And I'm done. But they sold out in all the Walmart. They did free promotion. When I when I I'm gonna get me Pat the Bell pie and I'm gonna do um on national TV. <laughs> you gonna turn I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna see if I can sing because I can't sing. <laughs> so if I eat this pie and I can hit a note, oh, we fit to take it to Hollywood. It's crazy how the world works. You, you they used to have to spend all these millions of dollars on promotion. All it take now is a Facebook one Facebook person to. Sell because I never, I didn't even know there were patty pies out. Nobody because knew. there was no advertisement, it wasn't no, it wasn't nothing. no commercials. And he said, What he said, he said, I saw this pie on Facebook, so I decided to try it. 
he he saw somebody else post a picture. He didn't know nothing about it. Yeah. But he's the one that sold all these Patty Bell pies. And the thing about it, it's it's a company. It's a small company that nobody's ever heard of. And they can't even supply and demand. And and they can't even reach supply and demand no. because the product has turned over that much. That's and a it wasn't expecting that right before Christmas. Right before the holidays. That's a that's a beautiful that's a beautiful problem. Yeah, and and just think that's when we have some good Christmas bonuses. Yeah, we need to eat pies. So if you know how to make pies, we're gonna take. I can make I can product. make some macaroni and cheese, and I can market that. Oh, I thought you were going to say macaroni and cheese pie. Come on. Macaroni and cheese. We can we can whip that Boy, up. Boy, I can. That's Damn. my dish. I have to take to my mom. We're doing Thanksgiving at my mom's this year. So my dish is to bring macaroni, macaroni and, cheese. and cheese. So I got to make two pans for her house and one pan for my house because I have, I cook dinner at my, I don't care where we go. Yeah. I cook dinner at my house because I don't like taking plates from other people's houses. So after we eat there, come home and want to eat at night. Yeah. We have our own food. We eat off of that for about four days. I think your family. <laughs> I think your family might have got you too. I'm gonna tell you how they got you, or well, they might have got you because ain't macaroni and cheese the most expensive, expensive thing to make? Meal to so make. they made you big. Oh, she got that good job. She got that big on I know how to cook some macaroni and cheese, oh, okay. but it is the most expensive thing. So I, I mean. I mean, I might do a GoFundMe <laughs> so I can make these three pans of macaroni and cheese for Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, I'm not going to eat a lot because I'm trying to lose weight. Yeah. So I'm going to watch what I eat. I'm eating that much, that much each. So oh, okay. All right. Or you can just work it all off. How about that much? I don't do that much. But what? Just eat a whole bunch of turkey and water. No. I know. You got to have your sweet potatoes. You gotta I got to have, 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 yeah. I got to have, I got to eat everything. I don't eat chitlins. I don't eat cranberry sauce. No, I don't like that either. I just want some dressing, some macaroni and cheese, some barbecue turkey. I don't barbecue eat. turkey. That oh, sounds so good. It is. Oh my god, it is. You never oh, had barbecue man. turkey? I've never had barbecue turkey before. I gotta get that. <laughs> yeah, you need to get somebody. You need to find somebody man, that just, turkey. That's, that just sounds good. And um, you had grilled turkey. When yeah. it's on the, the, sm um, oil, the smoke smoked turkey. turkey. Yeah. yeah. Barbecue turkey, barbecue smoked turkey. turkey. You need to get somebody to make your barbecue turkey. It is awesome. Okay. Um, collard greens and banana pudding and cornbread. That's all I want. Mm. I don't like banana pudding. My mom makes the best banana pudding, but I don't like it. But yeah. Somebody just bring a plate. Does it work for them little hens that be in Walmart? Barbecue hen? Yeah. It probably can. Oh, have you ever stuck the um the set beer can? Yeah. No, I'm not a beer person. It's Awesome. Oh yes. Put it on the um, on the grill. Like on the Oh yeah, I've seen people do that. I might put like a Tahitian treat inside of it. I don't like beer. I don't like beer. Put uh, some Hennessy in you. Oh pour some Oh my my uncle he does that to the ribs. He puts he puts Hennessy on the, on the, the glaze sauce. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I do so. that with my barbecue sauce. I mix um uh, the barbecue sauce and I put a little bit of Hennessy, um a little bit of mustard. And um, hot sauce. Oh, okay. Taste cool. it, y'all. See how y'all like. It. See, we giving y'all too much information. <laughs> you know, we can start our own cooking show. I know, right? Oh uh, yeah. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it's Doctor Lock. Anthony. And we are the crew. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see y'all next week. If you can't keep it cute, keep it mute. Peace, love, and blessings. And for all of y'all that are traveling, safe travels. And we're out. <laughs>